Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is part two of two. I made a video a few days ago, which some of you may have seen, and it was some ways to get yourself ready to do the sardine challenge, which some people also call the sardine fast. I've done it three or four times now. A lot of people that I know have done it. Uh, it's something that Dr. Boz uh, came up with. That was the first that I had ever heard of it. So uh, all the inspiration comes from Dr. Boz. So the other place where I got some inspiration from is Trader Joe's. They have this great bag. <laughs> uh, sardines on the back, the front, the bottom, uh, res recipe ideas. Uh, I just, yeah, I... I was pretty impressed with this bag and I made three recipes in my last video, my part one of two video, plus I highlighted some other recipes. Now I'm not saying to use those recipes during the sardine uh, challenge, uh, that's up to you. I'm saying get yourself ready for a three-day sardine challenge by getting yourself used to what sardines look like, taste like, all those things, what the different varieties are. That's what that first video was about. So I'm going to link that below so that you can go and, and watch that one as more preparation if you're thinking about doing a sardine challenge. If you absolutely hate sardines, and I have quite a few people who leave comments saying, you know, gross, disgusting, yuck, yeah. hate sardines, we'll never do this. Now, why they click on it when it clearly says it's about sardines, I'm not sure. Um, you know, maybe they're just curious. There's uh, some sardine curiosity out there, and maybe they're just wondering what it's all about. So uh, this video will be all about sardines. So, you know, maybe reassess right now whether you want to continue to watch or not. Uh, there won't be any, I don't think there will be any pictures of sardines, so you won't be grossed out by that. But I am going to answer today questions. So on my video, my first sardine challenge video, that was uh, a video that followed me for three days doing the challenge. It generated over a thousand comments, maybe 1,500 comments, a lot of questions, concerns, comments uh, that I've, I'm hopefully addressing uh, today. So uh, let's get started with that. But be, actually, before we start with some of the comments and questions, why do you want to even do a sardine challenge? Uh, what are the benefits? So let's go there first. And I have to say that I'm, I'm just going to give a short list here. And then I'm going to direct you to a, a video that Dr. Boz did answering that very, she went through all the benefits. She is a doctor. I am not a doctor. I'm not a medical professional, have no medical training. You know, anything I say is just like my own personal experience. It's anecdotal. Um, but I, I have watched a lot of the videos from other people who have talked about sardines. So here's the benefits. And also this comes from people in, you know, that I know who have done the challenge and have told me about some of their benefits. So uh, the first benefit, obviously, is that omega-3s are very good for inflammation and sardines uh, have lots of omega-3s in them. I like the portion control. You get the little can. You know, this is one portion. You open it up, you eat it. Uh, I find one can to be quite filling. I don't usually want to reach for another one. So I think there's some built-in portion control. And a lot of people have said they get in touch with their satiety levels when they eat sardines. Because if you're doing some kind of a challenge, and I have used this to my advantage on non-sardine fasting days, if I'm doing a long intermittent fast, um, and it, not even that long for, for some of you. Some I've you know people do seventy two hours, uh, seven days. Like I've seen people do some long fasts. I'm not one of those people. But say in a twenty four hour fast, 
My rule is that if I want to break my fast, it has to be a can of sardines. It can't be bacon, it can't be cheese, anything like that. So I can last the 24 hours. <laughs> and so there's a little bit of, am I hungry enough to eat a can of sardines? And if the answer is no, then I wasn't really hungry. So you really get in touch with those signals when you do sardines. It's a good alternative to water fasting. Uh, in one of Dr. Boz's videos, I heard her say that uh, she has a lot of her patients who have difficulty with a water fast, the idea of doing a water fast, you know, 72 hours of no food. She gets them to do the sardine challenge first because it helps them just as much as a water fast. They get great results. Blood glucose goes down, ketones goes up, and they're feeling good, and they've had some food. And so they're able to survive that. And some of them then even immediately go on to a water fast, and those great results continue. So I see a lot of wisdom in that, actually. Uh, anytime I've done three days worth of sardines, it's lowered my blood glucose and raised my ketones. I know that's not important to everybody. If it's not important to you, then okay. But it is a metabolic boost and I will take a metabolic boost. So um, I think that's all I'm going to say about the benefits because I'm going to have a link below I encourage you to watch it because Dr. Boz explains it so well and it's not a very long video either. So that will be below. And we're going to move on to some of the questions and comments. Okay, so before we start going through the questions and comments, I'm going to just briefly tell you what the sardine challenge is. For This may be your first time and so I want these comments and questions to make sense. Sardine challenge is for 72 Two hours. Now, Dr. Boz recommends you start the 72 hours with a can of sardines and you end the 72 hours with a can of sardines. That's how she does it. I, I find that to be way too complicated for my life. I do it over three days. Uh, so, you know, that, that, that's up to you. If you want to follow her, her way of doing it, that's great. Um, and during that time, in, in her, you know, very, very strict version of it, that is all you have, is you have those cans of sardines. She prefers, you know, skin and bones on. Uh, in oil, so you get, you know, that those, those fatty sardines, high fat, that's going to boost your ketones. So three days of that, I, I believe coffee, tea and water, no added uh, anything. Um, so that, that is your basic sardine fast, okay? So now we're going to start going to the questions and comments. Quite a few of the questions and comments that I got were about, you know, do they have to be in oil? I don't trust the oil. Can they be in water? What kind of sardines? Um, that kind of thing. Uh, so what I would say is that, uh, yes, Dr. Boz recommended the ones in oil, um, but many people have a problem with those oils. And I think that it is fine to get the ones in water and add your own oils to them. If you have an oil that you like and trust, um, that is fine. The other thing is if you are, maybe you're strict carnivore, go ahead and add butter, tallow, you know, any other type of animal fat. You can then keep it completely carnivore if you like. I did make a, what I called a sardine sauce. Uh, it's on a cheat sheet that I'm going to link below with all the other basics of the sardine fast. It's all on there. You can download it. It's free. You can just tape it to your fridge during those three days. So uh, that, you know, that's my recommendation that you make that decision about what, what kind of oils, what kind of sardines you're going to get. So then kind of related to that question about the sardines um, and the oils or lack of oils in them are, you know, what do you have to have the skin and bones? What about kippered, smoked? What about, um, you know, boneless, skinless? 
the ones with skin and bones are the top preferred choice. Uh, they have the best nutritional profile. I'm not going to uh, be the sardine police, though, and tell you that you can't, you know, get the sardines that you want. I, I would say if there are some sardines that you like, that that you can live with, uh, it's better than not doing it at all. So so that's that. Um, and, and then the other question related to that is other fishes. So can I use mackerel instead? Can I use tuna? Can I use salmon? You know, that kind of thing. Um, so I would say that it's a sardine fast, a sardine challenge, stick to sardines. I did on one of my challenges throw in a daily can of mackerel just for a variety. That's just me. Um, you know, it, you can maybe try that. You can be your own experiment and see what works for you. Uh, I also added some cod livers into mine. So, you know, that's just me. Now, I did come across a really good video the other day. Uh, it was Thomas DeLauer, and he, you know, you can see him up there on the screen. He's got the whiteboard. He's got all the different canned fishes written on that whiteboard and the pros and cons of each one. I would highly recommend you watch that video if you would like to see, you know, what, what are the different pros and cons of these other fishes. So uh, I'm going to link that below as well. The next question. Okay, so I had quite a few questions about taking electrolytes during uh, the sardine challenge, because a lot of people do take you know, daily electrolytes. These these two were specifically about Element. So since Element is sponsoring today's video, I thought, you know, this would be a good time to, to tell you about them while I answer this question. So I feel like taking the uh, electrolytes is, is a good idea. Um, I now I'm the type of person that generally needs to take them every day. I do get night cramps. They do solve them for me. Just make sure that, you know, whatever electrolytes you're using are very clean and don't have a lot of extra ingredients. And that is why I use Element and why I like it. So uh, I just, I since they're sponsoring today's video, I'm going to take this moment to explain what Element is. And it's a quite a delicious electrolyte drink that does not contain, you know, a lot of extra ingredients. There's no junk ingredients. The flavored ones do have stevia leaf extract, which is a natural sweetener. Uh, the new grapefruit flavor is in, If for those of you that have been waiting for that. Now, they do have a science-backed formula of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Right now, Element is offering to my viewers this package. It has eight of their regular flavors, and including the un sweetened one. For those that don't want the stevia, this is a good choice for when you're fasting. Those are all in this eight pack. You can get this by purchasing anything from their website and that link is going to be on the screen as well as down below. To get your sample pack, go to drink element.com slash ketogenic woman. That's D-R-I-N-K element dot com slash ketogenic woman. Share it with a friend. Try all the flavors yourself. Find one that you like the best. So thanks Element for sponsoring today's video. So it's really up to you whether or not you want to use uh, the plain unflavored electrolytes when you're doing this fast or any other type of fast or if you're able to tolerate the sweetened ones. I've tested my blood glucose with the stevia extract and there's no effect. I feel okay with that, um, but you need to do that for, for yourself and, and make that decision. So some people do a three-day sardine challenge before they do a regular water fast. Uh, Dr. Boz, I believe, has some of her people do that, and, and I do think it is a good idea. Related to this question are questions that I get from people who say, well, what if I just did it for one day? Would I have any benefits? Absolutely. Uh, you know. And, and then the other question is, what if I just added sardines every once in a while? Fantastic. I think everybody should do that. You don't have to do 
a three day sardine challenge to see benefits, just having more canned fish or fresh fish or whatever in in your program, adding those omega threes in are going to be of great benefit to you. So don't, you know, if you absolutely can't imagine yourself doing this, it's it's not a must to do. It's it's something that is, it's fun to do with a friend. <laughs> I've done it with friends before. And it just, it really is a good metabolic boost. So for those that are okay with sardines and able to do it, great. Not so much, you know, if you're feeling not so much, then yeah, just just add in a can here and there, you know, get yourself used to it. Look at some of the recipes that I posted a few days ago and just, just get yourself into that habit of, of having them. You are going to see benefits from having extra omega-3s in, in your food plan. Okay, so there was a lot of concern about mercury. I had so many questions about mercury microplastics, um, problems with the cans, you know, uh, maybe BPA, uh, what, what, you know, aluminum cans, that kind of thing, um, a lot. So uh, first of all, what I'd like to say is that uh, some of those issues are not sardine issues. Uh, for instance, microplastics. Microplastics are, are they're getting into the ocean uh, and they are also affecting land animals and fruits and vegetables. So don't think that if you avoid sardines, you're not going to get any microplastics. You're probably having them already. That said, um, uh, you know, I, I truly share your concern about microplastics, but it's not a sardine issue. It is, it's an issue with the whole food chain and seafoods. Do what you can to, like each of us has some responsibility to try to not add to that problem. Um, but I, I can't really address this, like I don't know how many are in the different fish. Um, you know, I, I just can't, like I'm not a, a research scientist, uh, uh, you know, I, I just don't have that kind of qualifications. Now, the mercury question, I did find on the FDA site a eight pages of seafoods and their descending order of mercury content. And I was very happy to see that sardine is pretty much the, the lowest of the fish that swim. The very lowest seafood that has for mercury content are the shellfish like scallops, clams, shrimp, and oysters. They have a very low, low level of mercury in them. And then for the swimming fish, sardines are the next after those. So it is the lowest in mercury content because they're small. Now, if you go to your eighth page here, uh, the, the fish that have the highest amount of mercury on the last page are marlin, orange roughy, uh, big eye tuna, king mackerel, which is very different from some of those other mackerels, uh, shark, swordfish, and tilefish. Uh, so, you know, there's there's pages and pages of them. Uh, I feel perfectly comfortable eating the sardines, so I, I don't feel it's a mercury as much of a mercury problem as as many people are are saying. Um, not according to this chart, anyways. So uh, what was the other thing? Oh, the, the cans. So uh, I, I'm going to link this chart. I'm going to link an article below about, you know, what, what the cans are for um, canned fish in general. And uh, I just don't feel uncomfortable with it. Uh, most of the cans now that I see in the store say BPA-free on them. Um, and you can get these things in jars too. I mean, it's not as comp. There's only one store in my area that I know of where you can get the the fish in the jars, but you can get them. And if that's a concern to you, then you know by all means seek out the the 
the glass jars and or get them fresh um you know without a jar I, I I don't know but I I also feel like it's not really again a sardine problem there's all kind I mean there's so many canned foods do you you know if you don't eat any canned foods then then that's fine you know don't eat these either um but yeah I'm I just don't share the same concern Okay, so the next question concerns how many to eat in a day. Um, there really is no minimum and there's no maximum. And I, I, you know, some people say as soon as they eat a can of sardines, they're done for the day. Uh, they just can't face another one. Well, uh, since this is being used in place of a water fast, I think that's, that's probably a success. <laughs> um, you know, because on a water fast, you're not eating any food. So if you're eating one can of sardines on your fast, then I don't really see a problem with that. Uh, you know, the, the goal of the fast is to lower your blood glucose and bump up your ketones. A water fast will do that. Eating one can of sardines in a day will do that. Eating five cans of sardines in a day will do that. So if that is your satiety level, then then that's fine. Um, now, as far as there being no maximums, I was not able, like the day that I ate five cans in one day, I was never able to repeat that. On subsequent days, I ate four, and on I think a, one time I could only get three in. Uh, and I, I, you know, I just don't see people binging on cans of sardines. Uh, maybe there's some outliers out there. Uh, but even say you eat five, six, say you eat 10 cans of sardines. I don't think you're going to be eating too many calories if that's what you're worried about. So I would basically uh, agree with with Dr. Boz and everyone else who says there's really no minimum and no maximum. And related to that is uh, whatever eating window you want. Now, some people have told me that when they do intermittent fasting, they don't eat anything, even sardines. That's fine. If you have a four hour or six hour eating window, eight hour eating window, eat your sardines during that, that window. I mean, it's, it's entirely flexible and up to you. I'm going to talk about a few of the side effects that came up. Um, some people were wondering about heartburn and burping. So for heartburn, what I, I mean, I used my sardine sauce that had apple cider vinegar in it. Apple cider vinegar is really a good tool to use if you suffer from low stomach acid, which is the most common cause of heartburn for many of us, I think. Uh, and so that is actually how I got off of my medication that I had been on for a number of years. I was drink, you know, drinking water with a little bit of uh, apple cider vinegar in it. So I use it for every, you know, whenever I make a dressing or anything like that, I use apple cider vinegar. So even just making the sardine dressing, will, you know, potentially help with that. Or you could even just pour a little bit over top of your sardines. I did see Dr. Boz in one of her live videos. I heard her say that when she eats the sardines with skin and bones, she doesn't have the burping problem. It's the other ones that cause it. So, um, you know, that may be it. And the other thing that I have heard her say is that as you go on, you know, day one, day two, day three, any discomfort that you might feel goes away. Uh, so another thing, and this is not really a, a, you know, a side effect of sardines, but I had an awful lot of people telling me that I uh, did not mention histamine intolerance. Well, if you have histamine intolerance, obviously you're not eating any canned foods, um, People who have histamine intolerance really can only eat the freshest foods or they have a reaction. So, I mean, nobody ever, you know, when I do a meat video or a chicken video, nobody ever mentions histamine intolerance to me. So I'm, I'm not sure why it's such a big deal here. If you have a histamine intolerance, then you already know you're not eating canned fish or canned anything. Uh, and you're, you already know that you're not eating aged beef, for example. You're looking for the, you know, freshest beef possible. Uh, you know, though, 
not that everybody knows those things, but those that have histamine intolerance know those things. So, right, if you are histamine intolerant, uh, you won't be doing this challenge, uh, I, I guess, unless you can get freshly caught sardines, maybe. And I don't know how easy that is. Yeah, I wanted to address this last comment. Uh, somebody, and I was kind of shocked that it was somebody who said they were in the uh, medical profession. I'm not in the medical profession, by the way. However, uh, if I eat five cans of sardines in a day, that adds up to about 85 grams of protein. On days that I don't eat sardines, like you know, regular carnivore day, I'm eating more than 100 grams of protein. I don't, you know, maybe 110 or 20. I, I, I don't know. I honestly do not think that 85 grams to 120 grams is a huge amount of pro protein. What did they say? Extremely high volume of protein burning up your kidneys and so on. I, I you know... That is misinformation, I believe. So I just wanted to point that out, that this is not a high protein thing. I'll put a link down below to a video from Dr. Canberry where he talks about protein and kidneys if you have concerns about that. Definitely worth a watch. Okay, so I had a lot of people asking about my glucose and ketone meter. So during the three-day uh, sardine challenge that I had published a few months ago, I checked my glucose, my blood glucose and ketones every morning before I ate, like, you know, within a little while of getting up and before having anything. Um, that is the best time to do it. And you should be fasted for at least 12 hours when you do that. I have two monitors and I'll show them both to you here. So I have the Fora 6. That is the one I was using in the video. And I also have the Keto Mojo. I have both of these and they, they work the same. They're very similar. I have no issues with either of them. Now, the reason that I ended up getting a 4 of 6 after I got my Keto Mojo is because I live in Canada and the strips are so hard to get in Canada. Sometimes they show up on Amazon. I've heard people say you can order them on eBay. That is way too much hassle for me. I want to be able to get them when I want them, two day delivery. And the four of six for Canadians, that is what that is easy to do. I can get these supplies here in Canada. They ship out of Vancouver. I get them within two days. So, so I tend to use this one the most. But when somebody has a question for me about the Keto Mojo, because I have one, then I can you know try something out and, and answer their question. I'm going to put the Canadian shopping link for four or six in the video below for those of you who are Canadian. And for those of you in the US, I do have a 15% off link for the Keto Mojo if you're interested in, you know, getting that. So both those links will be below. Like I said, they are pretty much equal to each other as far as I'm concerned. Um, okay, so here's a couple of questions. Um, uh, yeah, you know, uh, now, now there are some sardine police out there. <laughs> so just want to warn you. <laughs> um, Sardine challenge is nothing but sardines for 72 hours, not sardines plus. Well, it depends on, you know, who, who you're going to listen to and uh, it depends on what you can do. Not everybody can do just sardines. And if you want to do just sardines, I've done just sardines um, and I was fine and it was fine. I'd like to add some mustard. Dr. Boz says, go ahead, add a little mustard, add a little bit of vinegar. She would like to keep that to a minimum. Uh, you know, I also will put a link to Dr. Lisa Wiedemann's video on how she does the challenge. She is even a little bit freer than that, a little bit looser. She's not the sardine police either. I'm not. Uh, I kind of am, uh, you know, of the mind that whatever you need to do to get those sardines in, if you want to dress it up a little bit with something, I say go for it. 
I don't really see I don't really see the big problem with it. And um, sure, maybe you're going to get slightly better results doing it pure. Uh, I, I don't know. Like I, I just I just feel like I don't want to be the judge of that. And I'm not going to judge people for how they do it. I, I think uh, I think just uh, do the best you can. And, and that's all we can ask. Uh, the other thing that people, I was kind of surprised at how many people commented about the fact that I use the word fast because it's no food. But, um, you know, if you uh, go to Wikipedia or Google it, there's this thing called a mono fast and they call it a fast and it's when you consume one type of food. And so it is le a legitimate thing. I do like to use the word challenge though, because it is a challenge and it's, uh, you know, not, not uh, it's, uh, it's not a water fast. It is a mono fast and the mono food happens to be sardines. So there, there you have it. So I wanted to end on uh, by showing you uh, just a few testimonials of, of the, the many. many that came up. Like I said, there was well over, I think there might have been even over 1,500 comments on this video that I did. And I am going to link that video down below, by the way. People were just thanking me and they were giving their results. Uh, people had amazing, like people who had never been in ketosis before were suddenly in ketosis. People who had never been able to get their blood glucose down below 100 first thing in the morning, suddenly they were having numbers that, that looked more normal to them. And, you know, some people lost weight. Now, you know, I did get some flack too about the whole weight loss thing. It's not, a, you know, you're not going to lose much weight in three. This is a three day thing. This is not, ooh, go on the sardine challenge for three days and you're going to lose 10 pounds. This challenge is not about weight loss. This is about boosting your metabolism. This is about being on a journey to health. And, uh, you know, some people will lose weight during that three days. Others won't. But if they are getting their blood glucose down and their ketones up, that is not a bad thing. That is going to result in results later on down the road as they do more things like this. You know, maybe they, they do some intermittent fasting, water fasting, maybe they clean up their program in other ways. You know, this is like a precursor for those people who are struggling. Many of the people that Dr. Boz works with on this particular challenge are people with type two diabetes who struggle with these issues. If that's not you, you know, I, you know, maybe, maybe this isn't for you, or maybe you'll be pleasantly surprised if you try it. And maybe it will help you if you've been stuck in, you know, a weight loss stall for a certain amount of time. Maybe you'll find like I did that because I had been stuck for a while. And then suddenly I started losing again after I did two back to back sardine challenges. Maybe it was just what I needed. I don't know. Uh, but you know, don't don't hate on those of us who are just trying to improve our health and we don't lose enough weight in the three days to, you know, people, there were people that actually told me it was a failure because there was no weight loss in those three days. I don't get that, but okay. Uh, so, uh, you know, I just love some of these. Uh, some of these people also said, I ate sardines for the first time and I like them. Well, hey, what's wrong with that? I th I think I think that's amazing, and I'm you know here with someone who was down four pounds, and they their ketones went from zero to one point eight, and then look at the blood sugar. It went from one eleven on day one to eighty six by day four. Uh, someone down here went from two hundred and thirty. Their blood sugar was two hundred and thirty to one o three. I mean that's amazing. Uh, those, those kind, or sorry, 133, <laughs> but still, that's amazing. I mean, those kinds of results are, you know, what, what people are striving for. And if this helps them get there, um, all the power to them, uh, you know, it, it's, I, I think it's something that someone like that who struggles with their, 
you know, their blood glucose, um, they're on medications or whatever, you know, th this is something that can help them boost their selves to the next level, like boost their metabolism. So, uh, you know, thank you for everybody that left the, you know, the positive comments. I mean, yeah, there was a lot of negative ones, but I'm, a, you know, I, it, this makes it worth it. So many, there was the vast majority were like this, people that were happy, excited, and thrilled at their results. So thank you so much for leaving those comments. And I just really appreciate that. And I appreciate that you, if you've lasted this long in this video, I thank you for watching. And I'm going to add this to my sardine playlist. And I'm going to put all those links I mentioned down below. Uh, hopefully this covers most of the questions, although I'm sure I'll get more because there's always something new to learn, isn't there? Uh, but if you want to ask a question, feel free. That's what the comment section is for. Thanks again for watching and uh, go check out the other sardine videos. Heartburn and burping. Um, don't want to say um, gotta cut out that big um. Um, 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 um. Okay, I thought I heard a knocking. Like I'm talking. <laughs> um. <laughs> rewind, rewind.